Greninja is my favorite Kalos starter and also my favorite water type starter of all time. Is it overrated? Sure, but still my fave. What's your favorite Kalos starter? Anyway, Terra Electric Greninja might be my favorite Battle Bond Greninja set of all time. Toxapex and Corviknight always get caught off guard by it. My first battle with Electric Greninja is against Farna from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. So without further ado, I present to you the Greninja video. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Farna. So they're gonna lead off with Meow Scarada. So I, I, I predicted a Swampert, Meow Scarada, or Iron Moth lead. And I figured the Intimidate's gonna be helpful against Meow Scarada and Swampert, and also I, Iron Moth can't KO, so it made sense to me. They could go for a Triple Axle though, which we don't really have a switch in for. Um, other than our, uh, but they probably go for a U-turn, right? So we should go for a Stealth Rox. I'm gonna go for a Stealth Rox. Um, they do withdraw. They, they either don't have Triple Axle or they're not confident it'll KO, which it won't KO after an Intimidate. So they go Corviknight, which is great. Corviknight comes through. We go for a Stealth Rox, and then we simply taunt it so it can't defog. That's pretty much the the, the method I'm going for here, because the Stealth Rox is going to be good for whittling down the team for Greninja. So we go for a taunt 100% of the time here. No defogging for you, I'm afraid. As they probably tried to, right? Yeah, they tried to go for a defog, which is fine. Um, we now go for a U-turn now. We go for a U-turn. They probably go for a U-turn of their own. Um, or they just stay in a Brave Bird, one of the two. We go for the U-turn though. That's going to do a little bit of chip. Not really. We're going to see if the Rocky Helmet or not, which we got a crit U-turn. Nice. They are Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. So we'll get Landorus out of there. And we'll go into... If we assume they're going to have a Brave Bird or... U-turn, we should go into Raging Bolt. I'm going to go into Raging Bolt. So we'll bring Net Game in. This is going to bait in the Swampert, and Swampert is one of the Pokemon we need to weaken So with Raging Bolt. So um, let's see what they do. First and foremost, they do go for a U-turn, which is fine. They do no damage, and this baits in the Swampert big time. So hopefully that is what we see come in, the Swampert. They go Swampert, which is great. Um, Raging Bolt, I'm pretty confident it's just going to be used here. I don't. I think we can live an Earthquake from a Swampert. Especially if they're bulky, which it looks like they are. So we outspeed them. We go for a Dragon Pulse. And then we switch out. So let's go for a Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse comes through. At plus one. Nice bit of damage. They go for a Stealth Rock of their own, which is fine. We've got Heavy Dew Boots on Yam Mega, so we're not bothered about that too much. Um, we now go straight for another Dragon Pulse, though. There's no reason not to. Everything on the team except from the Corviknight gets hurt by it. And even then, the Corviknight doesn't want to take a Thunderbolt. So we go for another Dragon Pulse to weaken this thing. There we go. Dragon Pulse comes through. There we go. Swampert is nearly dead. They go for an EQ. That's going to sting. Doesn't KO us, though. So luckily, they went for Stealth Rocks, and we managed to get two Dragon Pulses off. So we should be able to finish this thing off with the uh, Greninja. Um... So what I'm going to do here is if we expect an Earthquake, I'm going to go for another Landorus um, switch. This baits in the Corviknight for them to go for Defog again, which means we can go into Greninja and potentially go for a Terra Electric Terra Blast. So we withdraw. We go into good old Landorus, get the Intimidate off on the Swamp Perch just in case they do switch our moves and go for an Avalanche or something. There we go. Intimidate comes through. Point Stones do it again. And that's going to lower their attack, which is great. Um, they do withdraw the Swamp Perch, though. What are they going to go into? Are they gonna, did they predict the switch? Corviknight. Corviknight's a good one. Again, we'll just taunt it. Stop it from getting off them at that defog. Because the, the, the rocks are pretty important. And if they defog, they get rid of their own rocks. So, we go for a taunt here 100% of the time. There's no reason not to. They do withdraw. Hopefully, we see something like a Meow Scarada or a Poltergeist. Um, they go into Meow Scarada. That's fine. We taunt them. Stop them from getting off any Stealth Rocks. Or, not Stealth Rocks. Toxic Spikes, if they are that set. Um, but taunt comes through. Now, the fact that they brought this thing in tells me they are... Triple Axle, which we don't really have a good switch into, except from a Bomber Snow. So I'm going to go a Bomber Snow. A Bomber Snow can probably take Triple Axle because of the Snow Boost in defense. Um, and we don't know what set it is. So if it's Scarf, we definitely take it. If it's Banded, we might actually not take it. So Stealth Rocks are going to dig in, obviously. We do get the Snow up, which is great. Um, they go for a Triple Axle. And it turns them into an Ice type, so they get the defense boost from the Snow. Oh, it only hit one time. Unlucky. That is unlucky. So now we get the Aurora Veil off, which is great. They withdraw. Not wanting to get hit by a Woodhammer or Ice Shard or anything like that. They're going to go into the Iron Moth. Interesting. I thought they'd go Corviknight, to be honest with you. 
to defog away the um, Aurora Veil that's coming this way. But they get hurt by stones. They are Protosynthesis, uh, Quark Drive, sorry. Um, so the booster energy is going to boost its uh, speed. So it's fast, fast AF right now. We go for an Aurora Veil. That's going to boost our defenses nicely. If we assume they're going to go for a Fiery Dance, we should go into Cyclizar right now and drop a Draco. This will bait in the Corviknights, which would be nice. Um, and then we can basically get the KO on the Corviknight if that's the case. So a Fiery Dance comes through. Is it going to... No, it doesn't do anything because of the Aurora Veil. Sweet. No special attack boost as well. Let's go for a Draco Meteor right now. They go for a Dazzling Gleam. We should still take this. We do take this. We drop a Draco, which is going to do a lot of damage. Nearly KOs it, which is great. We get a special attack drop. And then we get the Eject Pack, which is going to get us a nice free switch into whatever we want right now. So, what do I want to come into? Um, do I go Greninja and Dark Pulse? But they probably have Energy Ball, right? So I think, personally, we go into net game. I'm going to go Raging Bolt. I'm going to go Raging Bolt. Maybe I should have Rapid Spin there. Maybe I should have Rapid Spin, but you know what? It's fine. Um, it is what it is. Let's go for a Thunderclap first and foremost. Not bothered if they switch out. They don't know. Iron Moth goes down to a Thunderclap, which is fantastic. And there we go. So Iron Moth is out of the way. Would have liked to get the KO on that with the Greninja, but you know what? It's whatever. Meowth comes in, which is fine. I'm not too fussed about the Meowth coming in. Um, we just go ahead and go for a Thunderclap, just to get some damage off. And then we let Raging Bolt go down. We go for a Thunderclap, does a nice bit of damage to the Meowth They go for a Triple Axel, and they get boosted into Protean. That's going to KO Raging Bolt, which is fine. I don't mind Raging Bolt go down. It's done its job. It got rid of the Iron Moth. It's done a little bit of chip damage to the Meowth It's done its job, the way I see it. And if they're locked into that which I think they might be. We go Greninja here. I'm banking on them being locked into Triple Axel here. They've lost the stab on their flower trick and we've got the Aurora Veil up. So we might be all right. Let's go for an Ice Beam to try and KO this thing. They withdraw, so they must be choiced. They have to be choiced if they're withdrawing. And they let the Swampert go down. Good riddance to the Swampert. So we get an Ice Beam off, which is great. Boom. And then we're going to get our Battle Bond boost. They haven't Terrored yet, which is important to note. They haven't Terrored yet. We get our special attack boosts and speed. So they go Corviknight, which is amazing. So Corviknight is going to fall into this trap. We're at plus one special attack. They come in. They're not expecting this at all. We go for the Terror Electric Terror Blast and we destroy this Corviknight's life. Usually they're Terra Water, so they might Terra Water here, which is even better. So we Terra Astralize into an Electric type, like so. There we go. And they might be thinking with Specs, because we didn't get Life or Recall, and we, we weren't immune to the Stealth Rock. So they might be thinking with Specs, which is why they brought the Corviknight in. But no, 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 no. We're Terra Electric. With Terra Blast. Which means Corviknight goes down. Amazing stuff from Greninja. What an absolute legend. So Greninja's come through here for us. Now they're going to Poltergeist. So the fact that they brought this thing in tells me they're probably going to Terra. And I'm expecting Terra Fairy or Terra Fighting. So I'm going to go for the Pump. I'm going to go for the Pump, expecting the Terra. They don't Terra, but we do hit the Hydro Pump. That should still KO them from there. It does. Poltergeist comes through. Nicely done by the, the, by, by the Frog. The Frog on the Teapot, no chance. Now that Aurora Veil's wore off, they've brought Meowth in, which tells me they might be Choice Scarfed. In which case, we may not live this flower trick, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's go for the Ice Beam first and foremost. Ice Beam comes through. Oh, nice. They're not Choice Scarfed. Meowth goes down. Now we all we have is the Roaring Moon. That crit did not matter. Now all we have is the Roaring Moon to deal with, which I am actually... I'm not confident we can take out with one Ice Beam. So the Roaring Moon comes in. Again, not confident we can take it out with an Ice Beam. They could be Terra, which means Greninja may not actually win the win the war here. Have they already Terrored? They didn't, did they? No, that's good. Good to know. So now I'm like, do I go for an Ice Beam or don't I? If the Terra flying, which they might be, we might be all right. They are going to Terrastalize. So, okay, maybe I should have predicted this, but I don't know what Terra they're going to go into. They, they, they're usually Terra flying with Acrobatics, right? Yeah, it's Terra flying. 
Okay, so they Terra Flying. They're still weak to the Ice Beam. Only this time, we could have probably gone for a Terra Blast. And that would have done more damage. But we go for the Ice Beam at plus one. Cleanly KOs the Roaring Moon. Greninja came through. What a battle for the... What a first battle for the Greninja video. GG Fano, that was an awesome one. GG. Greninja popped off in that game. That Corv and I didn't know what hit it. If you're enjoying the video so far, why not subscribe and maybe leave a like. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Moving on, our next game is against Just Chris from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord again. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good look how fun Chris. So they're going to lead off with Bromade, which is the pre-marina as I led off with my Landorus. So not a bad lead. Not the best lead in the world. We obviously can't do much to this uh, pre-marina. I don't want to go for Stealth Rocks because they could just Hyper Voice me or Sparkling Area or Surf me or whatever. So I'm going to go for a U-turn right off the bat. We go for a U-turn. It's going to do a little bit of chip damage to the pre-marina, which is always nice. And then we're going to go back. So I'm leaning towards, because Prima Arena hits my team pretty hard. I'm leaning towards the Abomber Snow right now, just because it's a grass type. Um, I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to go Abomber Snow and we'll get the Aurora Veil up, which would be nice. And then we'll smack this thing in the face with a Wood Hammer. Something like that. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We get the Snow up. They do go for a Moon Blast, which is probably going to two-shot us. Yep, they are Specs. They are Specs. And I have no good fairy switch in. So I guess we're not having a Roar Veil this game. So I'm going to go for an Ice Shard right now. Just to get some chip damage off on this thing. See, that's the downside with this team. It's really weak to fairy. And you know what? That's a flaw in my part. Like, <laughs> you can't make the perfect team, but you can at least cover for, for, for fairy weaknesses, right? So that's my bad. I, 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 I don't know why I haven't got fairy type. So I guess what we could do here is... Um... We could go for the Greninja Terra and Electric, but Moonblast will KO us. I'm leaning more towards Yamega, personally. Leaning towards my Yamega. Also, Landorus. I, I think they're specs, so I'm going to go Landorus and I'm going to get the rocks up. I want to break a sash on that Galvantula for a start. Um, so I want to get the Stealth Rocks up. We can live a Moonblast, probably. So let's go for the Stealth Rocks, like so. They withdraw. What are they going to go into? Maybe the Extra Drill? Maybe... Um, Landris does really well against their, their team, though. That's the thing. So, Earth Style, the Fe Feisty comes in. That's the Regi uh, Regirock. The Rhyperia. We go for a Stealth Rocks. That's absolutely fine. That's um, it's great, actually. So, what we can do now is we can stop them from setting up their own Stealth Rocks by going for a Taunt. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. We go for a Taunt. Not allowed to go for your Stealth Rocks, I'm afraid. As the Rhyperia gets taunted, they try to go for Stealth Rocks, which is great. Um, so, we can expect a Rock Time move here. No, I do not. Let's go for an Earthquake. Let's just go for an Earthquake and get some damage off on this thing. There we go. Nice 2 at KO, which is great. With a crit. Ooh, crit, crit probably might be mad there. They go for a Stone Edge. No damage. Snow's going to stop. We go for another Earthquake 100% of the time here because it hits everything on that team really hard. They have a Quick Claw, which allows them to go for another Stone Edge before I can take them out. Which is really lucky on their behalf. But again, I did get a crit. So not super lucky. I think I think Earthquake 2 shot it anyway without the crit. In comes the Meow Scarada. Like so nice and shiny as well. Nice. Nice. Uh, point stones are going to dig in. We go for an E. Uh, we're going to go for an EQ. Um, we go for a U to now. Going to have to let Lando go down to a play rough here. We might actually live if they're not banded. We don't live. Um, so we get some Rocky Helmet chip, which is nice. Um, I didn't really have a switch into Triple Axel. Um, Greninja could switch into Triple Axel, but he can't do much after that. And they are Life Orb as well, so they can switch up moves. So we have to be really careful with what we do here. So I'm leaning towards the Yam Mega. Yam Mega actually does really well here. I'm going to go into Yam Mega. And I'm going to risk it for a Chocolate Biscuit. If they've got Play Rough, they probably don't have Triple Axel, right? So we go for a Swords Dance here. I think if anything, they have a, yeah, they stay in and Play Rough us. Getting an Attack Drop, which is unfortunate. Um, or... They go pre marina was what I was going to say. So we go for Swords Dance. Now they're probably thinking, what the heck is going on with this Yamega? Why is it Swords Dancing on me? Well, guess what? Guess what? I go for a dual wing beat here every single time because I outspeed them. The wing beat comes through. Down goes the Meow Scarada in two hits, which is great. So we're only at plus one attack, which means we're not really that attacky. But I couldn't go for another Swords Dance because Play Rough would have KO'd me. So Yamega may not sweep here, but it's going to put some holes. That's what that's for sure. In comes Excadrill the Peckish. It's a good one. Um, I could Terra Blast Terra, you know, do all that stuff, but I don't think I want to. I want to Terra Electric the um, Greninja. 
So I'm going to go for a leech life here just to get some damage off. And they're going to terror anyway. So going for the leech life was probably our best option because they may terror into something that's weak to um, bug. They go terror ground. Okay, that's fine. Terror ground's fine. That's even better for me because it means my leech, leech life is no longer resisted. Or is it? Does ground resist bug? I guess we'll find out. It's not. It doesn't resist bug. It's the steel that resists the bug. So we get some health back, which is nice. They probably go for a rapid spin, if anything. Um, as they do, in fact, go for an iron head, which should take us out. No, we lived! We lived! Yeah, Mega coming through! Let's go for another leech life. Leech life comes through. Excadrill goes down. They've used their terror now. They can't use it again. Um, so we're in a very good position right now. But I think their best bet is to go into Primarina. So Excadrill does go down, which is amazing. Like I said, I think the best place to go pre marina I'm, I'm pretty confident that I only... Because I'm only plus one, and I've got low attack anyway. I've only got base 72. So I'm pretty sure pre marina can live a dual wing beat. Bromade comes in. That's 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 the uh, pre marina right? Yeah. So pre marina comes in. It gets some Stealth Rook Chip. I am going to go for a dual wing beat. We either miss, or it doesn't KO. One of the two. Either way, I'm setting this up for Greninja. Dual wing beat comes through. It's not going to KO, unfortunately. Does a lot of damage, though. Sets them right up for uh, Greninja, though. They go for a Moonblast, and that's going to go ahead and be taking out my uh, Yam Mega. So, that's unfortunate. But you know what? It's fine. Because, like I said, we've got the Greninja. And we've got the Raging Bolt to fall back on if the Blaziken does some stuff. Like, if they double protect with Blaziken to get a plus two speed instead of plus one, they'll outspeed my uh, Greninja. So, I'm going to Terra Blast Electric right now. They withdrawed. Okay. What do they go into? Ca Carry Ops, the Chipper. That's the Galvantula. So Galvantula comes through. Get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is fine. We outspeed still, unless they're Scarfed. But they can't KO us anyway if they're Scarfed. Because we're Terror Electric. Which means we're neutral to Bug and we resist Electricity. So Electric's not a bad one to go for here. There we go. Greninja comes through with its Light Bulb on its head. We go for a Terror Blast. Like so. And boom. Electrified. Doesn't do any damage, obviously. Um, now we kind of have to go for a Dark Pulse or a Hydro Pump. I'm going to risk the Hydro Pump um, just because I kind of need to. I don't think Dark Pulse will KO from here. They are Scar, which is good to know. We hit the Hydro Pump, which is nice. And down it goes. I wish I had Surf instead. Surf would have been better, I think. But anyway, we're going to get a Battle Bomb boost right now, which is absolutely amazing. Now nothing on the team outspeeds us. Nothing can stand in our way. Goat the sociable comes in. That's going to be the Blaziken. Yeah, the Blaziken comes in nice and shiny. It's a bit dark. You can't really see it very well, but, you know. Um, now we 100% go for a Hydro Pump once again. And hopefully we don't miss. Hydro Pump comes through. And we unfortunately miss. So Green Ninja does not get to pop off this game. Never mind, it does. Because they go for a Bulk Up. Which means they probably don't have Protect. And then after a Speed Boost, we still outspeed because of the Battle Bond. So let's go for another Hydro Pump and hope we don't miss. Hydro Pump comes through. It connects. Yes. Down goes the Blaziken with a critical hit. Not that it mattered. Definitely didn't matter. And now we just got Pre Marina left for us Terror Electric. So if we didn't have Terror Electric, I'm pretty confident Pre Marina could live a Hydro Pump. Then again, I'm not sure. I can't remember how much health he's got left. I think he's got about a quarter, right? Bromade comes through. Stealth Rock Chip's going to take into effect. And then we simply hit it with a Terra Blast Electric right now. And take this thing out. There we go. So Terra Blast comes through. And boom. Down goes the Pre-Marina. So we've got a nice little free o sweep with... A uh, free KO sweep with the Greninja, which is awesome. So GG just Chris. That was a fun one. I like that one. Greninja came through again. What a battle. GG Chris. The next game is a fun one. Just for the meme, pretty much. And he's against Piper from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. Let's get it. And the battle begins. Good luck out from Piper. So they're going to lead off with Luxray. As I led off with my Landorus Therian. Luxray looks so cool in this game. I love its new battle pose. How it's like, like it's ready to pounce. I think it looks awesome. Anyway, they get the Intimidate off. We get the Intimidate off. We go for a Stealth Rock 100% of the time here. Because they're not Guts. Um, so we don't have to worry about any Ice Fangs. Well, if they have Ice Fang, that's fair enough. But they go ahead and stay in anyway. And they go for a Thunder Wave. Were they expecting a U-turn? Why would a U-turn on a Luxray? I don't know. But I'm going to go for an Earthquake now. They withdraw the Luxray. So they are playing all right. That's fine. Um, they go into Batman. That's going to be the whole Lucha, right? Or is it Lunala? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. 
That makes more sense. I thought I thought whole Luchi because of the mask, but there, there's this. Lunal is a literal bat, so it makes way more sense. So now we have to switch out. We can't stay in against the Lunala. What's our switch into Lunala? Let's go for a U-turn instead, because we might live. We go for the moon, guys. Beam. And voila. Down. The Landorus goes. No, we only does half. That's good. We go for a U-turn. That's going to sting quite a bit. No, it's not. Actually, no, it's not. Never mind. I just I thought they were psychic, um, psychic dark or something, but they're not. They're ghost, aren't they? So now, let's go Greninja. I'm looking at their team, and Greninja looks like it's going to pop off. So let's go Greninja and Dark Pulse this thing. Like so. We Dark Pulse, and then we get the uh, Battle Bomb boost. Dark Pulse comes through. The Psychic Ghost. Down it goes in one hit, and we get our Battle Bomb boost, which is absolutely fantastic. Mew comes in, which is amazing. Probably going to Terra. Or they just think they can take a Dark Pulse. So I'm going to Terra Electric anyway, just so that if they go for a Drain Punch, I can be in, in, uh, re not neutral to it. So let's go for a Dark Pulse now. So there we go. We're going to Terrestrialize into an Electric type so that we can be neutral to the Drain Punch if they go for Drain Punch or Close Combat or something like that. Mew can do literally anything, so it's good to be wary of what it could be running. Um, so Terra Electric should be fine here. I don't think they go for an Earthquake or anything like that. We actually... They don't Terra. They just let the Mew go down to a Dark Pulse. That's interesting. So... Um, don't know what they were doing there. We may force someone to forfeit, though, which would be really cool. Piper goes into Hall Lucha. Interesting. So, Hall Lucha comes in. Do we expect a Terra here? I don't know, but I'm going to go for that Terra Blast anyway. Terra Blast comes through. There's no way this Hall Lucha can take this Terra Blast. There's no way. They might have thought we were Specs. That's probably why they brought the Hall Lucha in, because we went for Dark Pulse twice in a row. We didn't have any Life or Recoil. They probably thought we were specs until I pulled out the Terra Electric. So that's awesome. The loser comes in. Interesting choice. They're going to Terra, right? We go for a Dark Pulse here every single time. No, we don't Terra. They just let the Veluza go down. So we got a nice little uh, 6 0 sweep with the Greninja, which is awesome. Now they're going to go into Delby, which is going to be the Miascarada. We simply go for an Ice Beam here. If they are choiced. Scarf, they outspeed us. So let's go for an Ice Beam. Ice Beam comes through. They're not choice scarfed. Down goes Miascarada. Luxray comes in. Amazing. Gets that Intimidate off, obviously, because we saw it earlier. There it is. Now, we just simply click Hydro Pump. And if we miss the Hydro Pump, I'm going to be so mad. Hydro Pump comes through. We don't miss. Down goes the Luxray. And that is a nice 6 0 sweep. For, no, not 6 0 sweep. That's a, no, it is a nice 6 0 sweep for Greninja. Brilliant end to the Greninja video. It just isn't a Greninja video about a 6 0 sweep with a frog, right? Anyway, that's the lot. Thank you so much for watching today's battles. I really appreciate your time. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.